Welcome to this short tutorial on success modeling using the Mopsos Evaluation Center. So the first thing that you need to do in order to use this application is to sign in using the Learning Layers account. And then on the left hand side we see a drop down of the different communities of which we are part of. If you don't see any community here, you can also add your own community by choosing a name and clicking on OK. But for now, we are using the test community. So now we want to create a success model for the application, which is called tv 2 car service. Note that we can also select other services from this drop-down menu. As you can see, the community has already defined a success model for this service, which has only one success measure called submissions over time. And here you can see how the submissions of students have evolved over a certain period of time. So now we will add our own measure and we do this by first enabling the edit mode. Then we will click here on add measure and then here create measure. Now we just fill out this form by first providing a name. Now we can choose a visualization type. In this case we will choose value but there are also other visualization types. Oh, there is KPI, which is a key performance indicator, or the chart visualization type. For the value visualization, you can also optionally choose a unit, but in this case, we will just leave this empty. Now we define an SQL query, which defines how we can fetch the data for our value visualization. Optionally, we can also add a description which describes the value in more detail. If you now click on save, then we see that the new measure has been added to the catalog and this measure can then be expanded by clicking on it and then the data is fetched from the server. Now we can click on this button to add the measure to the success model. So here you can see that the success measure has been added to the success factor usage. If we want to add a new factor, we can just click on add factor right here and then choose a name for this factor. In this case I will try to add a test factor and you see the new factor has been added under the dimension use. You can also change the name of your factor by clicking on the pen button right here. If you want to remove a factor just click on this remove factor button and then here confirm your choice. Note that the same also applies to the success measures, so I can also click on this button to remove the measure. In this case we don't want to remove the measure. If you want to edit a measure, you can click on edit measure button and then a form will pop up with the data which you can then edit. In our case we now want to add a description to this measure and we do this by filling out this form right here. If we now click on save and then inspect the information button on the top right corner, then we see our description has been added. If you now want to save our model, we can click on save model and then wait for the server to respond. And in this case, the model has been saved successfully.